<laughs> the better half, that is. And then it, <clears throat> Relax, be, man. Uh, Here, take your pill. <laughs> He's better now. We just flew over here to uh, Europe. Boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> and, uh, How do you find Europe? <laughs> it's it's, it's right, right over there. Anyway, we're taking over MTV. Is now uh, no longer music television. It's now sick television, Metallica TV. Metallica. So uh, we're going to be here for a bit, and we're going to hook you up with some European tour dates and some cool-ass videos and some uh, fan club info and some internet info and some doodads and all kinds of and stuff you uh, probably might need in the near future. So come and check out Talica on tour. This is the beginning of our huge world assault with the uh, new... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. That's pretty good corrosion, you know, Pepper. That's good. Um, corrosion and conformity is opening, by the way. Oh, also. Yeah. And... They rock. This is, we're going to show... The first thing we're going to show tonight afternoon today is a new Metallica video and we made it with Anton Corbin and we were Los the cowboys we were the good guys that we were is the good guys the good guys uh, but I got shot but I'm better now <laughs> yeah I got better <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> this one is the first time that we uh, kind of tried a little bit of well semi acting char character is it was fun it was a lot of fun very cool got to watch uh, People in the band beat each other up and shoot each other and, and shoot stuff. each other and good stuff like that. It was very good. Uh, it's called Hero of the Day, and we hope you dig it. Check it out on Metallica TV. On Lollapalooza over the summer in the United States, and uh, it was quite a little time. It was interesting. <laughs> They're a good band. Yeah, they, they like do all right. Songs. They do all right. And uh, let's see what we got happening here. We're well, going Lollapalooza to... was fun. Talk it was. About it. You it was great. It was. 30, de 30, days of, 30 days of recklessness and uh, pretty much not a care in the world. Yes. It was Lots great. of days off, and you know what happens then. <laughs> so it was a good way to warm up for this one. We are on, on tour in uh, Europe now and very excited about it. Hope you are, too. During this break, we're going to roll some European tour dates. Turn on your recorder. There are plenty of them. The like video record it and then push pause. Yeah, and playing back check and, them all like, out. again and over and over again. Yeah. Loads of dates in Europe. That's and, right. Uh, We'd like to see you at lots of them, if you don't mind. And one of the songs that kind of ties into all that goodie is... It's kind of like because we go round and round and over and around again. So like Going on and on on the road and our, our love affair with the road, as you know. <laughs> Wherever I may, Rome's coming after the break on Metallica. That was all I know from Screaming Trees. I guess new that's their album. new video, huh? Yeah, it is. New doodly doodad? From an album called <coughs> Dust. And they were on uh, Lollapalooza, too. It was such a time, that Lollapalooza. There was like 300 bands on it tour. It was huge. It? And uh, Josh Homa from Caius. Homie. One of our personal favorite, collective <clears throat> favorite metal bands. A bit heavy. From California uh, plays rhythm guitar now in Screaming Trees. And we're going to play a Caius video soon in Metallica a weekend thing. You'll see it. Don't right. worry. Don't be scared. Um, so what first was, video, man. What the heck are we doing? Oh. What was it called? Uno. Uno. Ein. Ein. Foreign folk. The first video that Metallica ever made back in 1988, I believe it was. Is that about right? Don't even know, man. Approximately. Don't approximately. Don't ask me nothing about approximately days. around there, 1988. First time we ever got uh, in front of the camera for this kind of thing, and it turned out to be pretty dang good, if I do say so myself. Yeah. We uh, stood and head banged in a, in a warehouse totally for like three hours. Jamming. <laughs> One day it was. And then they cut in a, a guy with no arms and legs in like a, a Chinese food box on his face, <laughs> and it became like the number one video on Headbangers of all time Imagine ever that. of all history of it. all time. People like that Chinese food, huh? That's right. So all check right. it out, Metallica and <laughs> One on Metallica I Sick Television. No. <laughs> Full Metallica TV. And uh, to Metallica Weekend, man. For you, for you. Bye, bye us. us. Bye us. Not them, not them. Okay. Okay. Echo, echo. <laughs> what? Echo, what? Echo, what? Right. So, you know, uh, we're going to talk about the fan club a little bit. Wanna? Let's do that. What number are you? I'm like two or four. Two. No, I'm two. You can't be two. I'm five. All right. He's five, but there's four guys in the band, so that works out really Tony good. Smith, number one. No. Oh. No. Okay. Right. What we, used to, we used to try and have fan clubs, and it never really you worked. You know, yeah. A lot of bands, really a lot of bands a lot try of to have band clubs. Yeah. It was, what happened was start early and you try to get one guy to like handle it and then the bands, people start digging them and then it's too much for, you know, just a couple of people to handle. Finally, as the years went by, we put together something for reals, like for reals, for you, by us. 
Yeah. And uh, a few bucks into it, got absolutely. some proper people in there, proper computer. Have our own office. Have, like. have our own office and like little cubicles and people work in there. Word processing. Entering the phone. Hello. Amazing. Would you like Amazing. to order the fan club? Part of the machine. Right. Anyway, James is going to tell you the uh, fan club address so here. You can join so and get all kinds of cool goodie, like uh, nude photos of not me, but Kirk. <laughs> that, that could happen. <laughs> that, that has happened. Uh, there's uh, all kinds yeah. of groovy things. You always get uh, first chance on tickets. Uh, wherever we are in the yeah. world, you get uh, backstage goodie. All um, kind of yeah passes to come and meet the band. Dates, club dates, all that goodie. All that ahead of everybody else. There's certain contests where you win, like one of Kirk's guitars or fan cans, you know, all and kinds of cans. stuff, man. Special videos, special audio things that nobody else gets. Special T-shirts nobody else gets. Uh, very. I even got one. Yeah, it's very cool. Very, cool. very cool. Very so cool. exclusive, you know. So, so dig cool it, like. dig it, dig in, and all that. Right there, right there it is. Oh, Check it out. Light. Can't be, can't be lying. See. That's right. So what we're gonna do here? We're gonna take one little break because I'm starting to get a little getting a headache. Getting famished. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna go. How about let's go? You go kill me some helpless animals and we'll cook them up. I'll put them between bread for you. <laughs> It'll be great. All right. So we'll take a break. We'll come back and uh, rock some more. Super metal, heaviest metal song that you've heard in Ever. this 10 minute period. Sad but true from Metallica on sick television. Stay there, dude. Play Imagine in. All right. Welcome back. Hey, yeah. Field. Uh, come on, buddy. Just a little bit longer. You can make it. You know we're on Is it tour. over? We're on tour. <laughs> the tour's not over. The oh. show's not over either. It's soon, soon. I heard, like, some weird music, man, when I was sleeping. It was, like, m reminding me of some little man or something. I don't know. Like, Sandman <laughs> or something. I don't know. That's what it was. Until the sleep, Sandman. What's, what's up with you guys? You're sleeping. Just, like, talking about sleep all the time. Does that mean you, like... You're on tour too long, you know, sleeping up, and what's the deal? I don't know. I don't get it. Anyway, anyway here we that are. was a uh, Sandman, huh? Ah, cool. Talica's 1991 uh, black album, you know, and stuff. None more black. Album. Oh, none more black. We've got, what do we got? What the hell are we going to do, man? We're going to... Are we uh, going to be on tour? Say hell anymore because you get in trouble. We're going to be... But it's TV anyway, so... Uh, hell with it! Tour uh, and stuff for quite a while now. We just started up our European tour. We're going to yeah. be out for a bit and uh, hope to see some of your uh, smiling and ugly faces there. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, what are we going to do? Thin Lizzy? Why don't you talk about... I'll talk about Thin Lizzy. Let me talk about Thin Lizzy a little bit. Yeah, Thin like Lizzy. Do you like them? Totally cool harmonies and stuff like, like that. Do you like them? Yeah, that stuff influenced me quite a bit uh, in the earlier days. And uh, we kind of got back to some of the... Fuck, <laughs> dude. Is that guitar rock? Turn it up! Uh, that's what we kind of <laughs> get off on is some of the 70s guitar rock. So, uh, this has been Lazy with the Boys of Back in Town. Talica TV! Cool! Which means that right before your very eyes, music television is turning into Metallica television. We've got a load of special Metalli programs on the way over the next 48 hours, but right now it's time to take a retro look at how MTV has charted Metallica's illustrious career over the past five years or so. We've dug deep into our archives to bring you not Garage Days Revisited, but MTV Days Revisited. Over the next hour, you can relive highlights of Metallica's headlining performances at Milton Keynes Bowl in 93 and Donington Monsters of Rock in 95. But first, MTV Days Revisited turns the clock back to 92 for a reminder of the action from Metallica's Wherever We May Roam tour. Rock, talking Lollapalooza 96 with Metallica and Randy. Man, the air, because it's just been, it's been so amazing. Plus, talking hot election issues with young voters, the joys of home recording with Johnny Polanski and his mom. I said you can't use the living room, but you may use your brother's old bedroom, or the one with the pink grass right. for the rug. The shag carpeting probably help with acoustics. Probably, yes. And Salt Lake City's war on gay student clubs rages on. 
Hi, I'm Tamitha Soren, and this is The Week in Rock, a week that brought the official word that Metallica, one of the biggest rock bands in the world, will headline the 1996 edition of Lollapalooza, traditionally a showcase for less imposingly successful bands. This also promises to be the hardest rocking Lollapalooza yet. Punk pioneers The Ramones and Soundgarden were also announced as main stage acts. Lollapalooza launches in late June, a few weeks after Metallica's new studio album is to be released. On Monday in New York, Metallica spoke with our MTV Latino News colleague, Javier Andrade, about the new album and about Lollapalooza 96. It's been almost five years since Metallica released their last studio album. The group attributes the long wait for their latest record to a new, less stressful way of doing things. We've nearly killed each other and everybody around us when we made records before, and I think we all felt that we wanted to try and see if we could come out of this somewhat alive. The guys teamed up again with producer Bob Rock, who also worked on their critically acclaimed and commercially successful 1991 release, Metallica. The band, who are currently recording in New York City, are experimenting with different gear as well as different ways of writing. A lot of different sounds. Yeah, different amps and guitars. Yeah, yeah. different instruments, yeah. The uh, input from Jason and Kirk was a lot stronger this time, and I think me and James kind of took a little bit of a step backwards and just we really wanted to try and do more of a band thing this time. The reigning gods of Arena Rock will be traveling a different concert path this year, headlining the usually alternative Lollapalooza. I think we do fit in because I think we have always been um, going against mainstream stuff. I think when the mainstream came to us, you know, it was very clear that they came to us. The band plans on doing a world tour after Lollapalooza, but they want to take an extended break before revisiting anywhere so that they can put out a second record. I think our idea right now is to go everywhere once and then kind of see what happens. Maybe go back and work some more on some of the songs that are incomplete right now from these sessions that I think we feel are strong enough to, to put out on a second record from these sessions. Whether it's shaking things up at Lollapalooza or playing a stadium full of metalheads, Metallica's philosophy towards their art is simple and direct. We don't give a f what people think. So why should we start now? Another Lollapalooza 96 band, Soundgarden, will also have a new album out. And Ramones, who also will be on Lollapalooza, who for months have been saying their current tour would be their farewell tour. Well, that tour just got extended through the summer. The Ramones' presence on the bill inspired punk revivalist Rancid to... No fun in the game until someone loses an eye and then it's just uh, fun you can't see. <laughs> That's true. All right, let's move on to something else.